Hey guys, so I'm here again for another video. And today's video is going to be the monthly recommendation for this month, and the theme is fantasy. I'm very excited. I've only done this in, for one month, and I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to continue on with the monthly recommendation. So. I I have six books to recommend for you and they're all part of like a trilogy or a series but I'm just going to show you the first one but I really am saying the whole series so I'm really excited to show you the books that I hope you might read or if you've already read them agree that they are a great fantasy book so let's get started. So the first book I'd like to recommend is the Trill Trilogy by Amanda Hocking. The first one switched and that's the one I'm holding up but this book was a really good fantasy series. It had like a monarchy in it, it was about trolls and it's about how there's um oh what are they called? changelings where a baby swapped out, a human baby swapped out for one of these babies and it's just like there's a lot of villains, a lot of fighting and a lot of fun and the prequel series was really fun as well with oh the spin-off series was really fun as well. I cannot remember the name of it though I do know that I really enjoyed it. I might have even enjoyed it a little bit more than the main series. Just so all the characters were so much fun. But this was a great fantasy book. And you don't read that many that actually have trolls in them, I think. So it was very, very fun to read. The next book I'd like to recommend is The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. And of course, this is like the ultimate fantasy book. Because it's got vampires, warlocks, fairies, shadow hunters, werewolves, demons. All types of fantasy elements in this book series. And I just... I think it's such a great book. And the Infernal Devices as well, the pre the prequel series to this is great as well. It's been a series coming out to the Dark Artifices which is really great but this, I guarantee probably everyone's read this series by now but I still want to recommend it to those few that might not have been or have read it yet but I really enjoyed this series and my cover is really glossy, that is annoying me. But definitely recommend you should read you should read this the next book i'd like to recommend is mystic city by theo lawrence and i enjoyed this book so much and again i really really love the color but this book is like really has a really interesting like magic system in it how there's mad like there's humans and there's mystics and they have powers but the humans don't want the mystics to have power anymore so they've been draining their power for years and there's rebel mystics and they have all types of spells like it can be really like basic things but sometimes people get really interesting powers the main love interest hunter he has the power to run through walls so i think that's pretty cool but this is about a girl who's always lived in a life of knowing that the mystics should be drained but then she meets one and she finds out that she does that they're not what she thought they were and she starts to fall in love and it's just a really great book and the second book was also really interesting and I can't wait for the third book of this to come out. It might be next year or this year or next year but I just it's got to come soon. It will be here eventually. The next book, a trilogy I'd like to recommend is The Dark Elements by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Now I loved this trilogy. I loved all the characters, the plot, everything about it was amazing. And it was the first thing I've read of, uh, of Jennifer L. Armentrout's writing and I can't wait to get more, hopefully in the future. But this is about this is about a girl named Layla and she is part gargoyle, part demon and she also has the power that if she kisses someone with a soul, she takes their soul and kills them. So that doesn't give her many options in romance but then this demon high prince lord comes in and she finds out that he, she could be, like she finds him and he's irritating but he gets her and she can be with him because he's a demon and she don't have souls. But there's also another guy, Zane, and there's a bit like love triangle, but the demon aspect of this is really interesting and I like how her mum's like this massive, like, you know, person that's all evil and just so many things happening and it's it's so great. This book, totally recommend and just read it for Roth. He's the best character ever. The next book trilogy, a lot of these are trilogies, but the next book I'd like to recommend is Starcross by Josephine Angelini. And this was the book that I first read when I started booktube. I was in the middle of reading this and it was the book that I actually showed you guys, which is pretty fun. But this has got a lot of like Greek mythology stuff in it. It's about Helen of Troy in modern world. I think that's really interesting and I like all the characters and so much stuff happens. And they're really chunky books too, so there's a lot to read. And I just really enjoyed this trilogy. Not my favourite, but I recommend it as a fantasy because there's a lot of elements in it that are really, really great. And... It should be read by a lot more people. The next book I would like to recommend is Red Queen by Victoria Avia. Now this book was a really good, like just some, like really fun to read. It had a lot, even though it's a really tropey and has a lot of like elements from other series combined, I still really enjoyed it. And I think the cover is really pretty as well. But in 
this book, the world is divided by blood, and that's red and silver. Silver bloods have magic powers, and reds are just commoners and, you know, don't really have much to do with anything. It's kind of Mayor Burrows, she's a red blood, but she has powers of a silver. She can, she has like electricity and stuff in her hands, which I think is really interesting. And it's about how they have, the silver kingdom has to hide her in plain sight so people don't know that red bloods can actually have superpowers. And I just thought this book was really great. I'm really excited for the next book in the series, but I think you should read it because Red Queen's amazing and it's a great fantasy book. So here is my pile of fantasy books that you guys should read. They're all great. I've all read them and I all enjoyed them. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.